What is up, my fellow delightful dandelions that are also slightly delusion? God damn, dude, that girl. Anyways, this game's a work of fiction. That ass is a work of fiction. God damn, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't fucking read that. I thought it would stay for longer. I just got distracted by pretty anime women. Anyways, so here's the thing. Normally, the series would be about me not knowing anything. Like, so I have this series, right? For for those of you that are new, I have this series. Or I, I select a game on Steam in random. I just select a random game on Steam that no one knows about. And I just hope it goes well because I, I, I go to the new in, the new section on Steam. Just select one game that looks kind of funky and just hope it goes well. Sometimes it doesn't. But usually the premise of the series is that I know nothing about the game. And I it, this is my honest reaction. I'm like, whoa, this game's fucking weird. I didn't know that was going to happen. But this time, I actually do know a little bit about the game. I know a tiny little bit, because I heard through the gate vine. The gate vine? The gay, the gay vine? <laughs> I heard through the gay vine, the gay little grapevine, that this game has a little bit of tism in it. This game depicts people with a tism. So I really wanted to play this game because me, myself, I have the tism. I am a tism enjoyer. I have the autism and this game also has autism. So I was thinking me and this game can merge autisms for all to enjoy. You can look at this autistic experience and be like, wow, that was fucking autistic. And just smile and nod your head as we both, me and this game, both exude autistic energy. Alright? So that was the plan. And we're just going to hope it goes well. Let's start a new game. Let's start this bad boy. Let's start the autistic experience. The writer is congenitally unable to tell the truth. And that's why we call it, that's why we call what he writes fiction. Fiction is a lie through which we tell the truth. This is a story of fiction. Okay, so like basically he's saying, yo, I have autism and this is me being like, this is my autistic experience, but like there's like magic and shit now because fiction. But like in reality, it's just a story of autism, but like in reality, in unreality, there's magic, but in reality, reality, there's tism. And the real magic in life is the tism we made along the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, gonna, there's going to be a lot of autism jokes. <laughs> the cape has fired another rock into the sky, but no one is looking at it. Also, I, I did do a, a do, do a little test for this game to make sure it runs well. And they gave a warning, like they were like, yo, I think there's like some going to be some topics like sexual assault and they gave a warning of that so like i also feel like i should give you a warning and there's gonna be topics of like tism they gave a warning of that as well so i'm gonna also give you a warning of that so if you don't like tism i get because it was weird because they were like warning this game d covers topics of autism so if you are sensitive to that i'm like what the fuck does that mean i assume it means like there's gonna be like uncomfortable things that like result from like people being mean to people from autism i don't understand because the, the warning was like by the way there's autism be warned and i'm like why do i need a warning for that <laughs> like that's not something to be warned about but i assume like the game means like there's bullying from autism or something there's there's things that happen because of autism that could trigger people. I don't fucking know. I haven't played the game yet, so I don't fucking know. But that's what I'm assuming. But the game gave me a warning that something bound from autism is bound to aspire. I don't know how if that's how words work. But autism is bound to happen. And maybe also sexual assault. So, like, if you are not wanting those things in your life then you're free to leave i guess you i'm i'm not going to judge you you could go but if you are okay with that i the game gave me a warning so i felt like i also should give you a warning before we start this journey into the tism they're looking down the heartless asphalt they're panicking oh my god but i won't look down i can't <laughs> i'm too busy looking up as people with tism we have to look up at all times. We stay looking up. We just look at the sky. We have never looked down in our life. This is true. This is true. So I'll keep looking at this rocket. Rockets are cool. That's the Tism rocket right there. You could tell by the colors. This is a Tism autism rocket. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love space so much. 
I love space. Oh my god, that's one of my artistic uh, special interests. I fucking dude. If you don't know, I fucking learned quantum f physics. Not because I thought quantum physics was cool, because I thought space was so cool, and some things in quantum physics align with space. My tism is so much that I was like, space is so cool, I want to branch out into quantum fucking physics so I could learn more about it. But also quantum physics is cool. I have a bunch of videos explaining stuff like that, so if you want to see that, like, comment, and subscribe, and if you don't, fuck you. Get out. <laughs> But basically, space is cool, and this is the TISM rocket. As a space expert, I know this rocket has the TISM. This is the TISM rocket stream, and that is the TISM rocket glow. We know this as connoisseurs of the TISM. <laughs> no matter what experts say, rockets only exist for one purpose. They are a ticket for leaving home, the prototype of our salvation. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows we're going to need it to get the hell out of this planet. All right, buddy. But Florida has amusement parks. <laughs> you live in Florida? No wonder why you want to leave this planet. You just, you don't want to leave the planet. You just want to leave Florida. Fuck Florida, homie. All right? Beaches and bottomless margaritas. So it's good at helping people ignore how screwed we are. Real, real. They still know. Everybody knows. But nobody talks about it. You need to look down, Oliver. No. I don't want. I don't want. The duplicity of Florida. It's our gateway to the cold, inevitable, unknown, and our personal lotus land. To here we arrive, from here we shall leave. Alright, buddy, pop off writing poetry and shit. That's our claim to flame, flame, fame. Oh, and the weather. That's right. We're famous for hurricanes. This isn't how adults deal with their problems. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Just let me look at my rockets and enjoy life. Fuck you. Maybe someday, when all our bags are packed in our fancy new rockets and stuffed to the brim with Hugo human cargo, a giant hurricane will inexplicably cover the state. Yeah, fuck you, Florida. Get fucked. <laughs> we'll be trapped, forced to live with the consequences of our own actions. We'll be unable to run away. The Cut to the crap, Oliver. Cut the crap, Oliver. It's your fault. Aww. You need to own up to it. What What happened? So be a fucking adult and open your- No! Shut up! <laughs> shut the fuck up, please no. Wait, why am I thinking about that? Oh, is that- is that the TISM warning? Like, is that the thing they were warning us? They were like, yo, if you're sensitive to autism, here's a warning. <laughs> That's what they meant, the autism panic attacks. Alright, people were just panicking. They're panicking so much that no one knows- that nobody was watching the rockets. Oh, is like are people like dying down there? <laughs> but wouldn't that be considered normal? Isn't normal to be? A oh, is like the world ending and like the lucky few are escaping on rockets and people are like freaking out and shit. I'm just like, hee hee, rocket, we're gonna die. Oh shit. Cause if so, relatable, relatable. Maybe I'm doing a, a, a maybe I'm wrong about all this stuff. Maybe I don't need to be trapped here by a hurricane. Oh, is like an actual hurricane just happening? Are we about to die to a hurricane and we're just looking at a rocket? I don't fucking know, man. Yeah. This world was lovely once. A veritable garden of Eden. But maybe that's what we needed to mature as a species. The things just might be better somewhere else. After all. After all what? Isn't that why we work so hard? To help you leave? Huh. Lose yourself in Siren's Call. That was a wild opening. Also, during that entire opening, I was making a heart with my fingerprints on my monitors. <laughs> I've just been making hearts with fing my fingerprints on my monitors. And I thought you could see that for some reason. Because I was like, oh, I'm recording the TV. So you could see me just slowly making fingerprint hearts on my monitors. Like, you know how like you could leave fingerprints onto the monitor and it's like all dusty and you have to clean it off? I was like making little gross fingerprint hearts with my... <laughs> with my gross fingies <laughs> and i just realized you can't see that <laughs> but just imagine there's a bunch of hearts made out of my fingerprint grossness on my on this monitor <laughs> voicemail you have five new messages first message hey there college boy oh jesus my mom's hot what the 
for? What? What? I didn't say anything. It's mom. Well, Violet's mom anyway. Oh, weird boys. It's not my mom. Fuck you. I was like, damn. Damn. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. I can't believe you're actually going to college. I'm so proud. Oh, oh. Anywho, I'll be back from Denver later tonight. I'm assuming that there's no delays. I'll probably be tired, so I'm just going to drop my luggage and then we'll make a beeline to, for your hotel. Ooh, you're going to the hotel with me? Violet's mom's going to the hotel with me? Oh, shit. We don't have time for a drive through anywhere, so you should probably um, eat something before I pick you up. All right. I likely be back by 8.30, so make sure you're ready to go by then, all right? What else? What else? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, can you make sure Violet cleans a bit before I get there? Yeah, yeah, I got you, Holmes. I doubt you two made much of a mess. It's just... Ec oh, is it like Violet my girl? Is it she my boo thing? My little boochie do? <laughs> uh, are we living together? Or is it my sister? I don't fucking know. Who's who's Miss Lawrence? I'm confused. Uh, we'll see. We'll figure it out. I don't fucking know. No pressure, though. Um, well, enjoy the day. Can't be, can't wait to hear about your summer. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Shut up. I hate myself. I hate that I said that. College, how exciting. Fuck yeah. Get ready. I, I'm, I'm ready, Violet's mother. End of message. To delete message, press 9. Saved message. <laughs> I saved it because my little mom be a baddie. She be a straight fucking baddie. Dude, it's 2011. Get a cell phone. Shut the fuck up, Ashton. Shut the fuck up. You're literally the only person that leaves. Vo I leave voicemails for at this point. I'm not doing this anymore. Once you move to Asheville with Ashton <laughs> in our Ash economy, <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> it's dumb. Even Emil em, 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 isn't that backwards, and I'm pretty sure he still carries that packet ratch around. Anyways, I'll be flagler. I'll be on flag. Flag. I, I almost said a slur on accident. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll be on flag. Fl that sounds like a slur. I'm not comfortable. I don't want to say that at the usual spot. I'll buy you a burger or something, so come down whenever. Later, bro. See ya, bro. See ya, home slice. And end of message. To delete message, press 9. Next message. Jesus. Oh, my. Dude. Dude, muscular muscular women are just my... We you can't do this to me. You can't... She's so pr Anyways, anyways, shut the fuck up, me. Shut the f <laughs> Hey there, nerd. It's Andy. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> she's she's pretty. You're not getting out of training just because you li li uh, it's your last day in town, you know. Well, we'll have to cut it a bit short today. But that's fine as long as you make the time to go back home and say goodbye to Judy as well. You are planning on doing that, right? You know she'd be de devastated otherwise. Well, whatever. Dude... I'm into it. Anyways, what? What? <laughs> well, whatever. I'll be warming up the, at the park, so hurry on over. It's hot, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Awkward laugh. So bring home some water if you don't want to die. Or don't. Your call. Bye. <laughs> All right, see you. Whatever the fuck your name is. Was it Andy? Oliver? No, my name's Oliver. Uh, Alicia? I don't fucking know. End of message. To delete message, plus nine. Next message. Oh, he's kind of Oliver Emil here. Oh, I was wondering if you finished up the book yet. No, we might not have given another chance to discuss in person given the circumstances, and I can't think of a better way to spend the day. I'll be at the library when you're ready. Also, one more thing. Have you been deleting the voicemails like we discussed? I doubt anything would come of it, but. It's the best to leave our trail cold simply as a pr What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> it's either we're running a drug emperor, emperor, empire, which is hype, or you're paranoid. Or we're murderers and we're hiding a body, which is also fun. <laughs> you are our leader. I'm sure you'll be on... Or are we leading a revolution against the fucking dictator because we are in Florida? The Floridian dictator. E 
I don't know, but either way, I'm hyped. I'm sure you've been on top of things paranormal, but I figured it would have to remind you, just in case you know. Regardless, I'll see you soon, buddy. Bye-bye. Au revoir. Shea Sorp. Alright, see you, buddy. End of message. To delete message, press 9. Next message. Gee, why? Um, she's so pretty. What the fuck is up with this game? Why are there so many pretty people here? I. <laughs> this is unfair, man. This is unfair. You caught me off guard, Judith. Fuck you, Judith, with your pretty aesthetic flowers and shit. Fuck off. <laughs> Oliver, hi, how are you? Hey, how's Violet? It's Judith, by the way, not Andy. I know we sound very similar over the phone, so I didn't want to confuse you again. Um, happy last day of summer, I guess. Are you feeling okay? Do you have any plans for today? <laughs> Not if you're free. <laughs> Lip bite. <laughs> I know you probably have to pack, of course, but after that, are you doing anything fun? Hopefully you. <laughs> Lip bite. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's the last day of summer, so it should be fun, right? You're probably busy, though. I'd be busy, too, if I was going to college. What's she doing, homie? That's why you didn't answer the phone, right? Because you're busy? And not because... <sighs> Sorry I disturbed you. No, it's all good. Disturb me anytime, homie. Um, if I don't see you again, good luck at college. Make sure to let us know when you're back home for our breaks and stuff, okay? Okay, good luck out there. Thank you, Oliver. Goodbye. See ya, bestie. See ya, baby. See ya, baby girl. <laughs> End of message. To delete message, press 9. There are no new messages. To repeat saved messages, press 1 now. Uh, say goodbye to the f homies. Alright. Uh, check voicemails. Investigate house. Yeah, let's investigate the house. What's- up? Jesus, am I a fucking murderer? What the hell's hap- Are those blood stains? The house does- Wow! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what just uh? What? Who was that? Journal A. Now the investigation is over, I should probably destroy this or something. I'm pretty sure. Am I a like? Okay, I joked about this, but am I actually a murderer? Cause if so, that's. That's wild. I'm pretty sure Emil has recorded all the important stuffs anyways. Even so, it's hard to just let stuff go up in flames like that. No, I can't get sappy. The smart thing to do is just leave it all behind. I've already made my choice. When I get up to Asheville, I'm burning this. End of story. I'm so con- Did we- Spice Rack? Did we actually- Violet's bed? Ooh? Ooh? Did we actually, like, murder someone? Because that- that house was like, I'm confused. All right, Violet's bed. She still hasn't changed the sheets from last time, has she? Well, goodbye to gross bed sheets. Goodbye to Miss Daphne. Dol, not Miss Dolphin and Miss. That's fucked up. Don't you dare throw those away. If, dude, if, I'm assuming Violet is my sister. If I was Violet and my brother just started going through my home one, my room one day and just throw away two of my most precious stuffies, I will fucking murder. Maybe that's the that's why the house is covered in blood. Violet came home, found that her stuffies were gone, and fucking murdered me. Because if so, understandable. If someone touches the shark I got at Mc IKEA, I have the shark that I got at fucking IKEA. My stuffed animal shark. His name is Mister. Fuckwad. I love him dearly. If anyone touches Mr. Fuckwad, I will murder them on spot. All right? All right. <laughs> Not actually. I don't I don't want to actually kill anyone, but like mentally I will devour your being. All right? Don't you dare tell anyone what we did in here. What the fuck did we do in there? Did I fuck Violet? Who I mean, it is Florida, but I assume Violet's my sister, so I'm confused. Like, it would make sense since it is Florida, but, like, also, I don't want that to be true. I'm hoping Violet is my little boo thing. My little boo thing, you know what I mean? Okay, because, like, I'm kind of hitting on Violet's mom. So, like, I assume that's not our, 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 our mom. I think. I don't know. I'm confused. This situation doesn't make sense to me, but I'm going along with it. What the fuck is happening? Violet's bed still hasn't... What was that? 
Okay. As much as I want to lay down for a bit, it's irresponsible to sleep my wife away. Sounds like something Dad would say at the very least. Then again, maybe a lack of sleep is why he's always so cranky. That's still on him, though. It's always going to be on him. You got some daddy issues? It's okay, homie. Me too. We all got it a little bit. We all got a little bit. It's okay, homie. Don't worry about it. Fuck that, homie. You're going off to college and you're going to fuck some mad big booty bitches, alright? You got... Do you see how many fucking hot anime women we have on our phone? They be leaving us a voicemail. Do you see those hot anime women leaving us voicemails? We don't have to care about that piece of shit any longer. Fuck that, ho. We don't have to care about that home anymore. We got big booty anime bitches on our phone and we're about to head off to college. We don't have to worry about that shit anymore, homie. You're gonna get drunk and have a great time at college, alright? Alright, Oliver? Go crazy with it. Alright, what's a, what's a food processor? What's up over here? There's a black bean burger stuck inside the food processor. I guess Violet's already made herself some lunch. Adorable. She's such a cute little herbivore, I swear. So is, is Violet or Boo thing? What is happening? Kind of weird that I didn't hear anything going off when I was sleeping, though. I wonder why that is. Um, Miss L's room. Is that the, is that, is that Violet's mom? Because if so, hi. Hey, what's up, Miss L? I shouldn't be in here. Why am I even in here? Even though she hasn't been here all summer, I'm still a guest in Miss Lawrence's house. I still, I should respect her privacy. But if she hasn't been in her room for this long, then how the hell does it still smell like wine? I don't know. Homie just has wine running around. Don't fucking question it. You don't, Oh, I was hoping we could snoop through Miss L's room. Because Miss L kind of a fucking baddie, not even gonna lie. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes to pack up all my clothes. Yeah, as long as I'm back before 8.30, everything should be all good. Fuck yeah. I guess one of the perks of growing up poor is that you never really have much um, time to pack. It's kind of handy, actually. Or have much to pack. I don't fucking know, man. Bass guitar, canvas, spice rack? Alright, what's, what's up with the bass guitar? I haven't played all summer, even though Violet keeps asking me to. There just hasn't been enough time, honestly. Valid. Valid. I'm... I. Speaking of, I've been lacking on my guitar. I'm trying to fucking learn the guitar right now, but I haven't played in, like, a month, so it hasn't been going well. But, like, we're just gonna pretend that's not happening, alright? I can only play a few crappy ska songs anyways. Eh, relatable, man. <laughs> Even if I enjoy playing them, that's still not worth showing off. Hey, man. If you could play something that's imp dude, if you could play something that's honestly impressive, like it takes like a hot minute to just learn how to play a basic song. So if you could play a ska song, fucking pop off, homie. Be proud of that shit, cause like just learning chords takes a hot minute. Playing a song, learning the momentum, and like all of that shit you have to do to learn a song. Pop off, homie. You should be proud of that shit. Even if you only know one or two songs, be proud of that shit and play it with glee, homie. You're just going to college, so I assume you're 18. Knowing that shit by the time you're 18, you're doing great, homie. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you, Oliver. Don't be ashamed of your guitar playing. Be proud of that shit, alright? Because you spent that much time learning how to play that guitar. You gotta be proud of it. Be like, look at my little ska song. <laughs> You know what I mean? Go crazy with it, homie. Well, I mean, almost nobody, I guess. Alright, uh, what's up with the canvases? The sack in the room is smaller than it was yesterday. The project, blah, blah, blah. I, I really don't care. I, 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 I just want to check to make sure I, I've said everything, but, like, I, I, th I, I really don't care. It's just, it's just, alright, let's go back. What's up? Um, leave home? Alright, let's, let's leave the house. Sure, let's see what's up. Oh, Third Avenue, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. No. Oh, oh. <gasps> okay. Okay. So I'm here. She's pretty. The, he's pretty. She's very pretty. He's. Um. So let's go over here. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at that cute little cutscene. All right, pop off, homie. Pop off. <laughs> Hey kid, how's your litter friend doing? 
somebody I don't recognize says something to me while I'm walking. A nondescript and generic at this m as nondescript and generic at this moment is, I'm still trying to make an effort to swipe, smile and wait by spy. Um, oh, this park's pretty. Ooh, look at that. And he's doing some push-ups. <laughs> Pop off, I had to go crazy with it. At first, it almost seems like she's sort of in a trance, completely focused on the rhythm of her workout. I mean, all right, pop off, Andy. Go crazy with it, only. Oh, shit. <laughs> she just sprinted at me. I kind of, like, I I jumped in real life. I just, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> but then I step into her domain and some, like, some sort of a homicidal judge predator. Andy flings herself in the air and starts barreling towards me. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, we just started zooming towards me. <laughs> Hey there, Slim. Glad you finally made it. Without missing a beat, Andy stomps, stands straight up and walks over, slaps me on the butt. <laughs> oh, Andy. Oh, Andy. Oh, you ready to run? We don't have a long time to dwaddle, you know. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's go on the grind, homie. She's already several yards away from me by the time I'm done processing everything that just happened. As silly as exercise seems right now, I know I'd better try and fight her on this. And so I do. I'm told, uh, as I'm told, and I am start jogging after my friend. Let's go, bestie. Me and the homies jogging together. <laughs> Look at us schmoving through the, schmoving through the yards and stuff. A route pretty much takes us all over the island. Without exception of a few mo uh, motivational insults to keep me moving, Andy stays um, qu mostly quiet as we cut through our through Siren's Call. What is Siren's Call? <gasps> That's the name of the game. That's the name. That, I feel like that means something important is going to happen, if you know what I mean. That is, of course, until we get to his house. Oh. And he peeks over there. The dip, 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 peeks over the dip. Okay, I love, I like a good visual novel game because i could just do my silly little voices not have to think and barely even play a game because that's that's the ideal situation for me but why do they always got to use these big words like dilla dilla da, dilla paid what the fuck does that mean <laughs> what I, I can't pronounce that i'm not smart enough for this shit i'm a small little smooth brain motherfucker how do you expect me to know this shit i love visual novels but why they always gotta put the big words in there man why they always gotta be like "Ooh, i look i feel very tumultuous today like shut the fuck up and say i feel poggers all right <laughs> you don't need to be that deep <laughs> Staring into the dark grove of the palm trees and ferns surrounding Ashton's home. Are we peeping on Ashton? Ugh, his TV isn't on. I swear, if that boy is working out, I'm going to bop him into the next week. Uh, week. What? Why are you... Why can't he work out? What the fuck? Why... Why are you gatekeeping his ability to work out? Homie just wants a good body. What's wrong with that? You obviously know the importance of keeping a healthy lifestyle. What the fuck's wrong with this dude keeping a healthy lifestyle? What the fuck, bro? Hey, trash tin. Unless you're Ambi Dick's trash, there's no way you're going to be able to jerk you without a broken wrist. <laughs> Why the fuck are you threatening to break his wrist? <laughs> what is he doing? He's literally just not... Wa the only thing this homie has done is not watch TV. Literally, the homie is just not watching TV and you're like, this motherfucker is not currently watching TV at this current moment. I'm going to break his fucking wrist. Are you okay, buddy? Do you got some issues you need to talk about? Because if so, that's kind of hot. But also, like, <sighs> you know... You'll have blue balls for the rest of your pathetic little life. Are you good with that? <laughs> what the fuck did this homie do? He's literally just... He's not watching TV and that's all he has done. And you're threatening to blue ball him for the rest of his pathetic little life? What the fuck? <laughs> and you good, homie? You good, like, mentally? And he waits for some, some sort of response. But no lights flicker within the house and no voices come to be bearing r sarcastic uh, retorts from the bramble unreal man moron 
Doesn't he know that your body can't heal itself if you keep putting pressure on it? And if he's out there lifting boxes with that, with his bum of a, f- Jesus, dude, with his bum of a father, he should be resting. All right, buddy. She grits her teeth and begins splitting away from the property. <laughs> is Andy good? Like, why does she gotta be so violent and like angry with that homie? All right, buddy. You do you, I guess. Oddly enough, the air around me is insult free for the remainder of our jog. Damn. Uh, August 12th, morning. After some time, Andy and I reached the halfway point of our normal route, the arid walkway in front of our old high school. Andy, for some reason, looks as though she's about to vomit. You good, bro? I barely have any time to rest before she turns back around and starts jogging again. Sorry, we're not stopping here. Even though, the, even if the rest of us are still alive at this school, we'll always reek of death. What, what, what the fuck is it? Okay. And nothing could change that. Did someone shoot up the school or something? You good? What is happening? Come on. I'm not slowing down. We all do our stretches at the park, all right? I'm confused. Why is there just like a random jump scare in the middle? All right, buddy. Even though my body is numb with fatigue, I now do what I'm told and follow Andy. Good little boy. (laughs) <laughs> all right i'm curious because i feel like this i feel like this game's gonna get like really dark all of a sudden but i don't know how and i'm curious to see what happens but also it might just be like a silly little game i don't fucking know man after what we feels like hours we make it back to the park like what if this is just some like what if this uh, just goes on some doki doki literature club shit and like all of the homies we meet slowly die or something? Cause that might have been the warning. That might have been the tism warning. <laughs> our tism kills all of our friends. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I find the nearest bench and collapse on it. Andy, unfazed, throws her right leg up at the picnic, ta- picnic table and starts stretching. Oliver, we've been over this. If you don't stretch immediately after running, you're just gonna be sore in the morning. Get up. You need to be in the habit of doing this. Dude, she is so... Can I... I'm, I'm gonna get up and stretch in a minute for now. I'm just gonna like... You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways. Anywho. Anywho. After psyching myself a bit, I'm doing as I'm told and walk over to Andy. We stretch our bodies using the crusty wood. <laughs> Why is the wood so crusty at the picnic table to prop ourselves up? Alright, buddy. I hope you realize how important it is to actually do this kind of stuff. Even if you're okay with being sore tomorrow, you need to defeat the voice in your head that's telling you to relax. That's the real reason we do this, Captain. It's not even the real being healthy. It's about being able to win every argument you have with yourself. (laughs) What? I feel like it's about being healthy. It's about destroying the parts of you that are weak. It's about willpower. (laughs) <laughs> Alright, buddy. Andy smiles at me, clearly satisfied with her monologue, and sits down sniggling, sniggling <laughs> to me that our workout is over. You see, right now, you're still inexperienced, so your mind is like a ball of wet clay. My mind is not a ball of wet clay, I'll have you know. Fuck off with these accusations. When the forces outside put pressure on it, it'll continue to shape and tell what it needs to be in order to be comfortable. Exercise is an outside force. Unlike most things, we get to decide what, when we're exposed to it. Which is perfect. Is it? If we know that pain is coming, then we can use it. We can use the pain to condition ourselves to fight those urges to be comfortable. We can use it to kill the parts of ourselves that are slow and weak. Alright, Andy. And once the weak parts of you is dead, there's nothing left but strength. Alright, buddy. When it, which I promise you is coming in handy once you start doing all-nighters or whatever. Uh, your brain is going to be all, I just can't d- do this essay in the morning. I should sleep. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Well, you fucking weak little brain. You weak little stupid little brain. Fuck you, brain. And you're going to be all like, shut up, brain. You don't control me, bitch. Weak little fucking brain. And then you think, wow, Andy's so cool for making me stretch. I should just buy her something nice next week when I visit her and Judy. This is so true. Andy is so cool. You're so cool, Andy. You're so cool. So yeah, get good. (laughs) Homie just told me to get good. Thanks for worrying about me, coach. You really think... Yeah, thanks for worrying about me, coach. 
Yeah, of course. It would be stupid if I wasn't worried. As dependable as you are, I don't think anybody could be fully prepared for adulthood. Real. Real. This is so true. This is so true. No one is ready. No one is ready. The adulthood? Sh poopy, stinky, poo-poo farts. <laughs> and I meant that. Adulthood is poo-poo, stinky, poo-poo farts. And I, I'm on God, bro. On God, for real, for real. I put that shit on my grave. <laughs> Yeah, and the old farts like to shoot advice our way and say that they get the truth, but that adulthood is just completely different breast for each person. Oh, beast. Sorry, I was a little bit distracted. I, Anyways, the Freudian slip, as some might say, will have no way of knowing if that worked for them, if it worked for us. Our, real! Every person is different. That shit might work for them, but it won't work for us because we're different people and different things work for different people. It's true! This homie spin facts. She might like be a little bit of a psychopath, but homie knows what she's saying. She's spin facts. There's no way you can know for sure what's gonna happen when you get to Asheville. You can get mugged outside the airport or seduced by one of your dorm mates, only to find out they're a mass murderer. He keeps their victims. I feel like this is foreshadowing. I feel like that's oddly specific. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> When you, when you scroll the mouse wheel, you get a, like a log of your past conversations. And I thought that was a jump scare. <laughs> and I genuinely got scared of just the log of our conversations. I thought that was... <laughs> anyways, anyways. I feel like this is foreshadowing. Like, this game is going to get dark. Like, I feel like it's going to get dark, right? And this is way too specific. Or maybe we're the mass murder. Do we keep her toes in a jar? Do we... <laughs> Cause like when we went into our house, there was like a, a glimpse of like death and blood everywhere. So I'm confused. I don't know, man. Or you know, biology might be kind of tough. <laughs> you know, the two possibilities of college: uh, you're someone you fuck ends up being a murderer, or you you struggle with biology. That's just college, baby. <laughs> As someone in college, this is true. This is true. That is the two things that happen in college. Either you fuck someone and they're a murderer or you struggle with biology. There's no in between. That's just what college is. That's just what you have to accept in life when you reach college. And honestly, it could be fine. Really, it could. But you don't know what's going to happen to you. There's no way you can know. So the only thing you can do is make sure you're strong enough to handle anything outside the world throws at you. Real. If someone, um, if some manic tries to chop your toes off, I want to be able to make sure you can have a strong enough body to take them on. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be so strong. I'll punch their gun and be like, no, no toe topping for you. I'm ripped as fuck, boy. I got a six pack. You can't chop off. Try to chop off my toes. My muscles will deflect the knife because they're so strong. I have a six pack in each of my fucking toes. Uh, toes of iron. Let me see you try to top off these toes. You can't because I'm fucking ripped as shit, boy. As strong-minded and not to panic once you realize what's going down. Real. Because if anything were to happen, well, you're like family at this point. Judy would be devastated. Oh, I forgot. Am I supposed to do a voice for her? Fuck that. I don't. I don't need to do voices. I normally do voices whenever I like voice someone in a game, but like, I don't feel it today. Andy, she could just have my normal voice. I don't need to do voices for everyone. She could just be a homie that, like, speaks like me, you know? Which reminds me. I'm sure you already know Judy wants to see you alone last time before you re regress. <laughs> right? What, what, am I, what am I regressing to? Uh, thank you for wearing... What? Why, why am I avoiding Judy? Did I kill Judy? What is hap- Why do I have to regress? I'm so confused. Uh, it's always going to be difficult, don't you- why, why do I have to regress? I'm confused. You don't get a free life in- That's not how I- Okay, she's going on a monologue, but- Back in the underworld, we cover each other's weakness by work- Back in the underworld? What the fuck? Alright, wait. Let me- Let me read the logs real quick. All of Violet's love won't save you if in- What? What is happening? All of Violet's love won't save you if you hate- What? There won't be a person to save yourself from the boredom. Judy and I can't force you to be a kind person when the world tempts you with cru cruelty. It won't be my fault if you aren't motivated. 
Emil's fault if you weren't fine. What is happening? I'm confused. What? Uh, did I miss something? That's the only reason. What did we survive? Was there really a school shooting? <laughs> was that? Was there actually just a school shooting that I just don't know about? What did we survive? Why are we in the underworld? Are we underworld drug dealers? What is happening? Because like the homie told me to delete the phone messages. So I assume we're an underworld drug leader. But like, are we actually though? I don't know. But from this point onwards, everything is completely on you. Your weakness will be your own and no one else's. Is that why we're training? We're going to be the anime number one drug dealer? Because if so, that's hype. <laughs> I'm going to be the number one drug dealer. Sell crystal meth to everyone. <laughs> that is my dream. <laughs> the anime drug dealer, that's hype. That's hype. That's why we got to train so we could outrun the, the druggies that are trying to shoot us with their bullets and cut up our toes and shit cut up our toesy woesies and sell them for drugs <laughs> on the black market oh no <laughs> here right now to make sure you're strong enough to beat the weakness out of you oh shit it's the only thing i could do for you so that's what i'll keep doing or i guess that's what i've been doing <laughs> today's our last day here we don't really have a lot of time do we we gotta sell as many drugs as possible before you go off to college <laughs> which reminds me I'm sure you- Why do I have to fucking regress? Fuck off. No, I don't want to regress. Ah, Alright. That was one monologue. Why am I regressing? Good or better have been. You need to tear about this stuff. It's important. Uh, why? Okay. Did I, like- I'm confused. Why do I have to regress? Did I choose something wrong? Did I- I'm, I don't know, man. Uh, you'll be fine at college. You'll be fine. You sure? Which reminds me. What the- Why- Oh! <laughs> Did I not have to regress this whole time? Could I have just... <laughs> Could I have just not pressed the regress button and then, like, actually just moved on? <laughs> I, I could have just not pressed the regress button this whole time. Yeah, I've seen her. Sure, let's lie. Lying's always good. Okay, killer. Are we a kill? Okay. That's like very jokingly, but we're like, are we actually a murder? I I think we're a murder. I know you probably had a date with Valentine today or something. So thanks for setting a time to say goodbye. Did we murder our girlfriend? Because we didn't see Val Violet today. And everything implies that she's our girlfriend. We woke up in her house, but we didn't see her. But we saw a room covered in blood. Did we murder Violet? Thanks for setting a time to say goodbye to my sister. Oh, I'm fucking your sister? My bad. My bad, homie. My B. My B. It wouldn't have good luck looked good if you went to hang out with me and didn't even acknowledge her. But you probably already knew that, didn't you? <laughs> Anyways. You know that rotten would have been, um... You know, you knew how rotten that would have been, which is why you beat me to the punch. How proactive. <laughs> Anyways. Anywho, that's the last thing I was really worried about. If you've already been to the house, I don't need to go back to myself just yet. Might as well just keep working out. All right, when we pop off. I'll let you go, though. you still got people to see, I'm sure. But you probably should go home and wash up first. You smell like rack rank. No matter how much your real girlfriend would appreciate that healthy musk of yours, if you know what I'm saying. Eh. Andy leaps from her seat and slaps me on the back, missing me luck in the future. Strangely enough, the last piece of her advice is for me to stay hydrated. Hey, that's very important. Hey, if you're watching at home, make sure to stay hydrated, boys. Hydration is very important. Remember, guys, you gotta hydrate or you will die straight. This is true. This is true. I promise that I will make a way out of this park and while Andy do starts doing push-ups. <laughs> Pop off, Andy. Go crazy with it. Go crazy with it, homie. Oliver, wait. What's up, Andy? Andy bullets towards me, gripping, onto, gripping something in her right hand. I almost forgot to give you this. She hands me a brand new water bottle. Aw, oh, shit. You can't stay hydrated with our water bottle. Yeah, let's give Andy's water bottle. I mean, you can, but it probably won't end well. Don't worry, though. I've never used it. I have plenty of fresh ones that I've left um, over for my sponsorship. Your sponsor? Pop off, homie. Make sure it gets lots of use, okay? When I see you again, I want you to be so ripped that I barely even recognize you. So get on it. Defeat the weakness that rots within your soul. <laughs> All right, buddy. I acknowledge that Andy's sincerity with re reassuring thumbs up. Okay. 
Okay. Thanks for lending us your strength, Captain. I'll see you soon. Smiley face. Stay strong, smiley face. All right. See you, Andy. Nice talking to you, bestie. Journal page 1 through 17 have all been recalled. Oh? What? What is journal 1 through 17? Violet's house... Yeah, we gotta go home and shower. The crab, you are here. Library, Judith? Uh, yeah, let's go. Wait, it said 8.2 hours left until what? Can I take a shower? 7.5 hours? Oh, wait, I have time? Wait, 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 like, d wait, when it says ETA 20 minutes, does that actually, like, mean shit? <laughs> do I have to do something in a certain amount of time? I don't know. But either way, I'm going to go to Judith's home, all right? Because I think Judith is a cutie, all right? I'm going to do Judith's home. And after that, I'm going to end this episode, all right? Let's 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 save this shit. I'm going to end this episode because I think it's been long enough. It's been a hot minute, and my voice is getting kind of tired, so I want to take a break, drink some water, and maybe take a little nap. Hey, man, I, I, I need my nap time. I get cranky without my nap time. So I think it's about time for me to take a little nap. And I'll see you next time. I'll continue this game next time because I'm really curious if we murdered our girlfriend or if there's a school shooting or if we're part of the mafia or if we're a drug dealer. You never know. All are equally possible. And I'm really excited to see what the tism has to offer me because so far there hasn't been much tism in this game. But I know there is tism to come. And I am excited for that tism. Because the game literally gave me a warning. They're like, warning, there's t autism in this game. And it, I, so far, there hasn't been that much autism. So I'm confused, and I need my autism. I need my copious amounts of autism. So maybe next time, you'll be able to experience the glories of autism with me. <laughs> so if you want to see that, and if you want to see wherever the fuck this game goes, and if I murder my girlfriend or become a drug dealer, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time, boys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. See ya.